Hello and good morning. Joe Justice here coming to you live from 950 Canal Boulevard East in Charleston, West Virginia, the Advantage Technologies headquarters. And it is a dreary day today. It is December 8th, 2022. We were supposed to have our uh, city parade here in Charleston and Advantage Technology is going to be a big part of that parade, marching in the Christmas parade, but it got postponed till next week. So we will try to post some pictures and keep everybody updated on that next week. Hope you're having a wonderful week. It is Thursday and that means just one more day and we'll be ready for Friday. So everybody's looking forward to that. Let me ask you a question. Do you in your organization, do you handle all of your accounting internally? Or do you handle all of your payroll internally, for example? When it comes to maintaining your office building, do you have a full-time employee that does the maintenance? The answer to this question for most businesses is no. Most businesses will outsource their accounting and they'll outsource their payroll. They'll hire an independent contractor, to handle things like building maintenance, uh, similarly with uh, things like janitorial services and things like that. Most companies will not do those types of things internally. They will outsource those to uh, companies that specialize in it. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Primarily what you're looking at, <clears throat> if you're a company of a certain size, small to medium businesses, is accounting is, you know, it's a super specialized skill. Not only uh, do you have to worry about hiring? If you're going to hire a, a full-time accountant, you know, you need to know information that would, what does that even look like? What does a qualified accountant look like? And that's even before you get to the question of whether or not you can afford them, right? So when it comes to things like that, when it comes to things like payroll, because, you know, these are specialized jobs. These are specialized positions that you don't know a whole lot about when you're trying to run your company. So why do a lot of these same businesses try to completely handle all of their IT decisions internally? That's my question for you this morning. Now, one of the things that we do at Advantage Technology is IT staffing. We know IT. We know how to manage people, how to uh, evaluate credentials, how to tell if they've got worth it, work ethic, how to find out if they're capable of doing the job, what level of sophistication they have, and we have that extra layer of additional support that they can lean on because we have uh, close to 100 employees at any given time here, and we have different technicians that specialize in different areas. So one of the things that we do and we've been very successful with is IT staffing. Now, before you get too far down the road on this, understand that IT staffing does not have to replace your IT department. If you have an IT department that handles day-to-day -day help desk type work, understand that IT staffing from a uh, company like Advantage Technology or any other IT company doesn't necessarily replace them. It can be a supplement. Now, it can work both ways. If you've got a smaller business and you need the occasional IT help or you need a, a substantial amount of IT help but aren't sure how to hire those types of employees, aren't sure how to manage those types of employees, or if you've got a full-blown IT department with maybe one or two employees, but they handle kind of day-to-day -day stuff and aren't quite up to the level of handling more advanced, more sophisticated uh, challenges that might pop up on a semi-regular basis, then you would hire an IT company to do the IT staffing for you. And let me give you some, some ideas of why you would want to do that. So first of all, let's take a field like cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a very complicated field. Uh, there, it's changing constantly. The information is constantly changing. There are all kinds of levels of accreditation. And there's different, uh, different paths that uh, people take to get the, credit, uh, the, the accreditations. So how do you decide and how do you figure out if an employee is capable of handling that? Not only that, but I mean, do you have a full-time need for somebody that specializes in cybersecurity? Do you have, can you afford hiring somebody for 40 hours a week that, that can handle that? I'll tell you right now that people that do IT uh, security, the people that do cybersecurity, are, they don't come cheap. 
So does that fit into your budget? Does that work with your system? The other thing that you have to keep in mind is all of the other little le levels of IT support. There's, you know, when it comes to IT, there's network administration, there's server administration, there's things like backup and recovery, there's certain types of software that needs, uh, you know, specialized support. You know, we're not necessarily talking here day to day, you know, my email doesn't work or I'm having trouble, you know, accessing the internet, things like that. When it comes to IT staffing, you're going to be focusing on specialization. You want to hire somebody that can supplement your current IT team. Or like I said before, if you don't have a current IT team, maybe you need somebody that's available at a, at a moment's notice. Now, we do a, a variety of different uh, ways of handling IT staffing. We have lots of companies where we actually have IT staff full-time embedded. So they work 40 hours a week for this other company. Now, what advantage does, does that give you? The advantage that that gives you is the ability to have IT staff that can lean on our other IT technicians. So they're not limited to whatever they have in their own head, right? So let's say you've got an IT department uh, or IT staff that does day-to-day -day help desk type stuff. My email's not working. I can't copy a file. I don't know how to, how to join a meeting in Teams. Those types of everyday things that people need help with. Well, all of a sudden they run into a problem where there's a, uh, there's a denial of service attack happening on your network. Well, your standard IT person doesn't know anything about that or how to manage it, the, the, the help desk type person. So they need to work with a network administration professional that can look into that kind of stuff, that can contact the ISP, that can communicate with the higher level network administration, be able to handle that kind of stuff. Or what if you get ransomware? Again, a lot of your kind of day-to-day -day help desk type people might not necessarily know the best practices in dealing with a ransomware attack. What do they do? Well, they need to be able to reach out to someone that's got specific expertise in those areas. And we have those uh, services available. We have technicians that specialize in that type of thing. So it becomes very advantageous to work with an IT company instead of just having them uh, available for whenever something comes up that you need help with, having a full-time IT staffing situation where they can help you out on a standard basis and be embedded in your company. And again, we do that regularly. That's a really common service that we provide. We have IT staff that are, that, uh, and, and it's good to have IT staff embedded because what you run into is they get to know you, they get to know all the employees, you know, they get to know Alice at the front desk that always has problems, you know, opening your emails, and they get to know Alice really well. They build up a rapport with Alice. Alice has been working there for 30 years and, you know, she just has a little bit of trouble. Well, when you have somebody embedded in the company, he gets to know Alice. Alice gets to trust him and it works out really, really well in the long term. Plus, he gets that additional ability to be able to reach out uh, to, you know, the other technicians that can help him out with specific things. So also keep in mind that we supplement IT companies or IT departments. So if you've got an IT department that um, works with, uh, you know, standard, again, might know the basic design of the network administration, might know how the servers, you know, fundamentally architectured and structured, knows how to do basic troubleshooting, knows how to help everybody out in kind of the, the broad strokes. But if something happens to the backup, if, uh, you know, some, some hard drives fail, or if there's some misconfiguration and something goes wrong, well, that person, that day-to-day -day IT help desk person, might not have the skill set to be able to fix those big problems. Or maybe you're running virtual machines, and one of the virtual machines isn't operating for some reason, um, and then you need somebody that specializes in virtual machine administration to be able to do that. Well, then you can have uh, Advantage Technology available for you. And as an additional supplement service, remember there's always uh, um, managed services provided by Advantage Technology and, and other IT companies. So you can always imagine that things like backup and recovery, 
things like uh, managed uh, detection and response, uh, things like antivirus, some of your basic services, quarterly maintenance, these can be just automated and outsourced entirely to an IT company so that your IT staff doesn't have to deal with them at all. And that can be really valuable. That can save you lots of time, lots of money, lots of headaches. You don't have to worry about the hiring process and vetting and all that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind and be sure to like, subscribe, uh, share this video with anyone that you think might find it helpful. Contact me at advantage.tech if you need any help, any more information. I'll be happy to point you in the right direction and get you set up with the right people. Just let me know. You have a wonderful day today. I will see you tomorrow. It'll be Friday, and we'll be ready for the weekend. All right, take care. Bye-bye.